Hi, yes, hello, my name's Ashley. If you're new here and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch classic movies for the very first time that I probably should have seen by now, but for some reason just haven't. I like to give you what I call a preview review, which is what I think the movie's gonna be about based on my knowledge of pop culture. Then we watch the movie together edited of course, copyright, and then I give you a final review if it stood the test of time, if it didn't, if I like it, and all that jazz. Today is actually a Halloween's winner. <laughs> Y'all remember October? <laughs> and it's now January? Yeah. Well, I never claimed that I had my life together, so here we are. So in Halloween, I have a whole playlist up on my channel. Uh, I went back and watched classic scary movies that I probably should have seen by now. And what I did was I had a secret phrase at the end of some of the videos. They had to type in, do this whole giveaway, and part of the prize, as a winner, you get to pick a movie that I have to react to. Point blank period. You know, and then I sent some little goodies in the mail. Synergy Phoenix's movie was the 1989 classic Steel Magnolias. I'm not gonna play around, I'm not gonna mess around, I'm not gonna wait any longer. Let's get into my pre- Let's turn my phone on silent, and now let's get into my preview review of Still Magnolias. I am in Knoxville. I am in East Tennessee. I, it would not be very Tennessean of me to, to not know that this movie stars our Lord and Savior Dolly Parton here. All right, listen. Her birthday was Tuesday. She turned 75. Blessings. Listen, she is a national treasure. Hubbin has interviewed her once before. And one time I went to Dollywood whenever she was opening a new uh, a new section for her park and she was there live singing and I cried real tears. <sighs> she, let me put it to you like this, she is one of the holy trinity of classic country music for me. You got Reba McIntyre, Dolly Parton, and Loretta Lynn. Sorry, this is a movie review channel, not my love for Dolly Parton channel. I know she is in this movie. I don't know any other characters. I don't know any other names. Steel Magnolia. I don't know if this movie's based in Tennessee, but I mean, we have magnolia trees. Is this about to flower? Does this take place in Tennessee? Is it a musical? I know a lot of movies that Dolly is in are musicals for very obvious reasons. I don't know if this is a musical or not. I just know Dolly's in it and honestly I'm already gonna give it five out of five stars because Dolly's in it and she is a national treasure. All right. That's really all I got for you in this one. I don't know anything else about this movie so I guess uh, no more waiting around. Let's go ahead and jump right on into the 1989 classic Steel Magnolias. Have you decided to come back? Come on. <sighs> Beans, do you want in and out of this room? Okay, I'm shutting the door. <sighs> yep, got a card for Sinet. Don't know who Shirley is. Oh, what are these trees? They're not the magnolia trees. Crepe myrtles. Julia Roberts is in this? I didn't know that. What a simpler time. Her ascot, though. <gasps> Somebody's getting married? Yeah, what are they shooting? Oh, birds. Looks like a stuffed pig bled all over my hand. Oh my god. <laughs> Julia Roberts is so young here. You should drown them at birth. You got Drum, you got Spud. These are some country ass names. Is this Dolly? Oh, I just love Dolly so much. Oh, I'm just screaming at my husband. I can do that anytime. <laughs> Tommy says Jonathan's planning to cover the honeymoon getaway car with these. Oh my god, that's part of the fun. Okay, Shelly's getting on my nerves. There must be a better way to get rid of those birds. An air cannon. Yeah, I was hoping you'd catch that. It's that big hair, I love it. I pick up everything with boys and money. <laughs> Baby girl, you pick up both easily. <laughs> glamour technician. Yes, baby, glamour. It takes some effort to look like this. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Janice Van Mita got hit with a baseball. It was fabulous. Was she hurt? I doubt it. She got hit in the head. <laughs> We love a petty queen. She's living over at Ruth Robelines alone. Ah, oh, we love spill the tea. The idea of hiring somebody with a past. Is she drinking Kool-Aid? She's not drinking. I'm sorry, that's hair stuff. <laughs> if you can achieve puberty, you can achieve a past. 
Why, whatever do you mean? Excuse me, who's this? Who is this gentleman? Excuse me. It's bad luck to see me before the wedding. Oh, he's the groom, okay. That VCR alone was getting married for. That VCR, absolutely. Julia Roberts is so pretty. Get the basketball out the house. Oh, somebody's gotta go take a shite. Coffee does the same thing to me. Sorry, you look like regular shit. <laughs> It's a nuisance and slip it over your head. Oh my god! Oh my god! It is. So I serve it over ice cream to cut the sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds exactly like something us folks in the South do. And I thought he was a pest at first, but then he kind of grew on me and now I love him. That's what happened to me with Blake. Drum and I both feel that she should not work after she gets married. Well, I'm so anxious to discuss- Excuse me? You should buy KPPD. You got plenty of money. What would I do? Y'all didn't tell me this was about radio stations. Pink silk bunting draped over anything that would stand still. The sanctuary looks Bougie. like it holds down with Pepto Bismol. I <laughs> Nine. Nine? I had trouble finding four. It's in the shape of a giant armadillo. Why? <laughs> it looks like it's bleeding in there. <laughs> the That'll be fun. Good old Southern values. Either shoot it, stuff it, or marry it. Or you could do all three. He enclosed this carport so I could support him. What a giver. <laughs> you up. Drum and I have been oh, why is she freaking out? Why is she freaking out? Is she gonna call off the wedding? Shelby, Flynn! Shelby, what's wrong? Should I get her a cookie? No, juice is better. No, nah, get her a cookie though. What's wrong? What's happening? No, here you go. There you go. Drink some what the hell's happening? She gonna ruin her hair. Listen, I don't know anything about being diabetic, but is that- We'll adopt ten of them. We'll buy them if we have to. Well, that's a little illegal, but okay. Oh, I'll fix it. We'll fix it. I don't think that's just diabetes. I think there's more going on. I'm stressed. I'm not so sure myself. You seem a little- That's a lot of eggs. He is a foil on the butt of humanity. <laughs> Men are the most horrible creatures, honey. They will ruin your life, you mark my words. <laughs> he took all the money, my jewelry, the car. Most of my clothes were in the trunk. Oh my God. I didn't know if you would hire someone who may or may not be married to someone who might be a dangerous criminal. These are good points. Here, all we've been talking about is weddings and psychotic animals. As one does. Oh, he put firecrackers on a... Okay, well, this is some redneck shit. This is exactly what goes down in the south. Oh, red. Oh, there he goes. Oh my god, what's the eggs? <laughs> oh, wow, those bridesmaids' dresses, the hats. Oh, look at Dolly. Oh my god, she's beautiful. I swear to god. It's time. It's time. It's time. That sounds like my dad. Listen, right before I walked down the aisle towards Blake, my dad turned and looked at me and he said, We could turn around right now if you wanted to. <laughs> I clearly didn't. I'm married. Look at all that pink. What'd she call it earlier? Lord, that's a lot of pink. I do not. It's not my favorite color. But Lord, she gotta be loving it. What the, is that color? Why is it up but then like the little, like all the way around they're supposed to sit down? God, look at all that pink. Oh my God. Her mom was right, Pepto-Bismol. Promise me you'll think about it before you make any big decisions about family. Malin, I know what you're saying. What's the issue? He knows she can't have kids. They're open to adoption. What's the, what's the problem? Me at Olive Garden with endless breadsticks. And this here is the best cherry coke in the history of the world. Mm-hmm. Aw, oh, he's got a little crush. That's cute. She gonna get her a new husband. Excuse me, ma'am? Nancy Beth a little tipsy. Oh, that armadillo cake. Oh my god. That armadillo cake is amazing. Blake's birthday's coming up. I'm gonna make him an armadillo cake. Janice living her best life, baby. Yes. 
Hey, 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 why does that kind of look like me if I were a man and could grow a mustache? I'm Janice. I'm Janice. Hey, yes! I'm here for this shit. Get up! Why is she wearing a corsage? Or boutonniere, I mean. Oh, it's a corsage. <laughs> they found the condoms. That's hilarious. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a girl. <gasps> it's a bartender man. Did I just create a new superhero? The older you get, the uglier you get. Oh my god. <laughs> hey -o. A nail has changed. Oh nice Bob and I on the radio Yes, baby. We love it. Oh, Clary, I love that for you, girl. I've arranged for some pretty incredible fireworks. What kind of fireworks? Oh my god, that's a butt! There's butts! Oh my god, there's more butts. So many butts. They don't give a damn about that great shit. Oh, honey, the FCC ain't gonna like you saying that. No, for the nursery. <gasps> She's not happy? She's not happy? What do you want me to say? I don't know, be happier? I don't know. Jack's not going she to ain't a next week. real southern lady if she ain't excited about a grandbaby. No judge is going to give a baby someone with my medical record. If you're just a diabetic, it shouldn't be that serious. So what information am I lacking? I clearly don't have enough medical knowledge about diabetes to understand this. When it's all said and done, there'll be a little piece of immortality. I don't know. It's that's a weird. Okay, immortality. Carry on your line. I don't understand it, but okay. If that's important to you, then good. I would rather have thirty minutes of wonderful than a lifetime of nothing special. Wait, are they saying she's gonna die when she has the baby? I swear to God, it's just. Am I gonna cry? Trivia just turned over the decoration responsibility. You decorated. Uh, it could have been a wash. She could have wanted a bikini waxing. <laughs> Let's not get. Crazy. I don't want to think about it. I'm not crazy, Malia. Just being in a very bad mood for 40 years. <laughs> I love her character, that's fun. The only thing that separates us from the animals is our ability to accessorize. Yes, baby. As somebody always said, if you can't say anything nice about anybody, come sit by me. <laughs> I love that. After all these years, I'm not sure I can be gracious. Oh, that drop waist dress, Shelly love that. Granddaddy. He's so proud. He's so excited. Now why can't her mama be excited? The doctor said she shouldn't have children. There's a big difference. Shouldn't have children, why? I don't know anything about pregnancy. Okay, alright. I need to start a friend girl group so we can all do the fun hand thing when things get tough. Am I gonna cry? Is something really traumatic gonna happen? I'm gonna cry. I've never heard this verse. I wanna get my hair cut. Short. And I want Truby to do it. So wait, she had the baby, everything's fine? Hey folks, I'm only kidding. I'm just gay. That was his idea of breaking the news. <laughs> They've been smoking everything but their shoes. She's the first miss. The devil's lettuce, Lord. You don't love it? I mean, I personally don't like it either, but do you like it? Oh, she lost her identity. I have a strict policy that nobody cries alone in my presence. Me too, girl. I am going to paint my front door red and change my name to Elizabeth Arden. I don't get that joke, but I am so proud of, of, what's her face? Supporting her daughter for once. And all gay men are named Mark, Rick, or Steve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's fine. <laughs> Shelby. I'm dead. Why are you in such a good mood? Why are you in such a good mood? You run over a small child. <laughs> <and something. laughs> I want to be as petty and fabulous as Clary, honestly. <clears throat> oh, Shelby, it looks like you've been driving nails up your arms. 
having Jack Jr. put too much strain on my kidneys now that could put. That's all. Oh. You better get going on my nails. Are you allowed to have your nails done you before a major surgery? <laughs> because sometimes it'll mess sit. with the oxygen thing. I'd give your dog a kidney if it needed one. Beans, I'd give you a yes. kidney if you needed one. Christ sakes. Who? Christ. When did she get so religious? We are your internal organs. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like some humor I'd have. I love him. Oh, oh, she hit him with a wink. Yes, baby. Love that. It, uh, oh. When I was in school, a bunch of my friends and I would dress up as nuns and go bar hopping. That sounds like a good time. He is a good looking older man. Oh my God, putting peanuts in Coke. Oh my God, it's so good. If you haven't done that, you have not lived. Just put some peanuts off in a Coke and you just drink and eat. It's, oh my God, so good. Then never. Oh, you hussy. Thanks. Good night. Don't do this to me. Don't do it. Do not do it to me. I'll write a check. I support art. I just don't have to see it. <laughs> I do not see plays because I can nap at home for free. <laughs> let's, let's go call it. Daddy, okay? Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop. What is about to happen? Is she dead or alive? Is she dead or alive? I need to know. I'm stressed. <sighs> so do they have to take the kid out? Since their body's rejecting it? <sighs> I wasn't ready for it to take this kind of turn. I can't handle this. It can't. It can't. It can't end like this, right? Like. She's gonna be okay, right? Like, he's signing papers to pull the bug. Are you kidding me? That's not what this means. That's not what this means. I'm sitting out of his eyes. I'm the cute crier, and I'm just. Okay, ah, uh, shit, that- <laughs> Should make you feel a lot better that Shelby is with her king. Oh, and now, now is not the time, baby. And I personally feel much safer knowing that she's up there on my side. And now, baby, shut up. Thank you, now. Oh, she handled that a lot better than I would, clearly. Men are supposed to be made out of steel or something. I'm gonna cry again. I just shit. <laughs> Oh, no, Dolly's crying. Okay, everything's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Lord, I wish I could understand. No. no. I hope she won an Oscar for this, because damn, it's so good. Go ahead. God, this movie has more roller coasters than Dolly's ride to Dollywood. Shit. 
must be destroyed. Mother Nature's taking care of that fat. <laughs> Spoken like a true smart ass. <laughs> that is what good looking old older man. I just I mean <clears throat> I know they're looking for eggs there, but like that's some grown up grass. There could be snakes in it. <gasps> Two locations? Eat shit and die. <laughs> Sammy's gonna be rolling up in an Easter Bunny costume. Oh my god, it's gonna be so funny. I don't I don't think people normally get this kind of send-off when they have a baby. <laughs> That's a badass Easter bunny. Well, I just don't think I have ever cried that hard on camera. I haven't cried that hard just in general in a long time. Wow, that was that was that was a big cry. Well, let's talk about it. Well, I don't know if you knew this or not, <clears throat> I was not ready for Shelby to die. Clearly. Damn. That was sad as hell. That was so sad. What a good movie. I laughed a lot. I cried a lot. Oh my god. Eat shit and die? That's hilarious. There's so many good quotes that I want to remember. Oh my god. I don't know who was the lady who played Clary, but like she is now who I want to be when I grow up. I want to be a badass like Ripley. But like a Southern Belle like Clary. When Weezer was like, I've just been in a bad mood for 40 years. <clears throat> I ain't 40 yet, but I felt that. Oh my God, when Clary was like spoken like a true smart ass. Listen, I love her. That's who I want to be when I grow up. This movie was, woo, that was so much. It was so good, but I did not know. I didn't know that that was going to happen. Oh my God, if I think about it too hard, I'm going to cry again. I'm going to cry again. Ah, oh my God. And the gay... <laughs> Her son came home and was like, I have a brain tumor, lol, jk, I'm gay. And it is, the, <laughs> the lighting and name Steve and then Weezer's son. Weezer's son is gay. Oh my god. It is too much. Did you know that Dolly doesn't have kids in real life? If you don't know anything about Dolly Parton, she is a national treasure and should be protected at all costs and I would die for her. But she also created, started, and runs this thing called the Imaginary Library that sends a book a month to kids from birth until five, uh, until they start kindergarten. I was a recipient of Imagination Library. Anyways, and there is an interview that I watched where um, she talked about starting it because I don't think her parent, her parents couldn't read something like that. Anyways. She mentioned, you know, she doesn't have kids. And I have yet to find if she's spoken about it, which it ain't nobody's business. If you are a couple, if you are a woman and you do not have children, it ain't nobody's business why you can't have kids yourself. But there was this really wonderful quote that she said, she was just like, you know, I give all these, but I kind of feel like these are all my kids, you know. And so anyways, ain't nobody's business why she can't have kids, but just, whoa, what a... What a powerful movie, Lord. And I was just like, listen, I don't know anything about diabetes. And I clearly don't know anything about pregnancy. I don't know anything about either of them. I didn't know that was like a big risk. That's scary. That's so scary. And how scary it is to have a transplant like your body not take it. Oh my God. What a big movie with some deep stuff. Honestly, the friendship with all the grown women really gave me Golden Girl vibes. Which I love the Golden Girls. I want, I want a circle of bougie ladies that just have their stuff together and like we are in it for life we are besties for the resties you know but i want to be clary we're gonna start a girl gang but clary's taking this me oh my god y'all officially know how ugly of a cry look it's been like 20 minutes since i've cried and that broke my heart and i show did say that she can't die she's a main character and literally five seconds later she was dead what a good movie what a good movie okay still magnolias if you have not seen still my Five out of five stars, honestly. Like, wow. One, just because Dolly Parton. Like, everything she makes is amazing. And everything she's in is amazing. Witty, smart-assy humor. Love that. Complex stories. Deep meanings. Newfound friendships. Oh my god, five out of five stars. Thank you so much, Synergy Phoenix. One, for supporting the channel and suggesting this movie. I wasn't ready to cry that hard. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Friday upload here on the Millennial Movie Monday channel. Uh, leave a like, comment, did you ball? Are you also an ugly crier? Would you also die for Dolly Parton? Anyways. <laughs>
Monday. I'll see you Monday. Monday's movie is highly, highly requested. I don't want to tell you what it is yet, but it's very highly requested ever since I have found out who John Candy is. So I will see you Monday, and until then, I'll see you Monday. <laughs>